This video is brought to you by Roll for Combat and the RPG Superstar Contest. Create up to three of your own Pathfinder 2nd Edition monsters for a chance at winning several prizes, including the publication of your creations in an upcoming Battle Zoo Bestiary. Enter now at RPGSuperstar.com. Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder Rule Reminder for you. And today's question is, are fists weapons? And the answer to that in brief is no. Fists and other unarmed attacks are not weapons. In fact, if you look up the description and explanation of what an unarmed attack is, it very clearly says that they are not weapons, although... Uh, unarmed attacks like fists can belong to weapon groups and have weapon traits and function in very much the same way as a weapon. They themselves are not weapons. And the key reason for that distinction is that there are abilities, feats, and other effects within the game that specifically say that they modify weapon attacks. Like something that might give a bonus to a melee weapon attack would not provide that same bonus to an unarmed attack, uh, like with fists. But let me give you one specific example that's really going to show where the distinction is important for unarmed attacks not being weapons. Let's say you have a razor tooth goblin rogue, and as a razor tooth goblin, that, that character is going to be able to make biting attacks that are unarmed attacks, and they deal 1d6 piercing damage instead of the typical 1d4 bludgeoning damage that everybody kind of gets by default. So because this Razor Tooth Goblin is a rogue, they get to choose a racket. And we're going to say that they chose Thief as their racket. And as a Thief, it says that when you attack with a finesse melee weapon, you can add your dexterity modifier to damage rolls instead of your, your strength modifier. So that question comes up of, if this Razor Tooth Goblin that is a thief, if they make a an unarmed biting attack using their 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 razor sharp teeth that do, that do 1d6 piercing damage and has the finesse weapon trait, do they get to add this dexterity bonus to their damage? And the answer is no. Even though that unarmed attack has the finesse weapon trait, and yes, I know it's called a weapon trait, it's still an unarmed attack. And if we look at the way that it's written for Thief, Thief specifically says finesse melee weapon. Your biting attack as a Razor Tooth Goblin is not a finesse melee weapon. It's an unarmed attack that has the finesse trait. So you would not get to add your dexterity modifier to damages with that biting attack. Now let's take a look at another situation with this same character, the Razor Tooth Goblin Thief. As a rogue, this character is also going to be able to make sneak attacks. And if we read the text of a sneak attack, it says, If you strike a creature that has the flat-footed condition with an agile or finesse melee weapon, an agile or finesse unarmed attack, or a ranged weapon attack, you deal the extra precision damage. So because this is specifically calling out that not only does it apply to finesse melee weapons, but also to finesse unarmed attacks, then this Razor Tooth Goblin would be able to make sneak attacks and get the extra precision damage when they bite with their teeth. And also because this uh, unarmed attack has the finesse trait, they're always going to be able to add their dexterity modifier to their attack bonus in place of their, uh, their strength modifier. But again, the key is, per the description of unarmed attacks, unarmed attacks are never modified by any ability or effect that modifies weapons because they are not weapons. It's going to have to specifically call out that, that, that it applies to unarmed attacks, even if the traits are the same. So that's it for today. Are fists weapons? No, they are not. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. If you have any suggestions for future rule reminders, please let me know in the comments as well. I'll make sure to leave links in the description of any of my other videos that might pertain to this topic. And as always, I want to just quickly say thank you to everybody out there who supports me in this channel. 
whether that's by clicking the like button, subscribing to the channel, subscribing to the Patreon, sharing the videos with your friends. I really appreciate everything you folks do to support me. And with that, thanks for watching. Take care and happy gaming.